So guys, welcome here in my little TV set here at Twin Extreme. In my streaming platform, this is where we normally um, shoot some of the TV shows on my streaming platform. And the reason why I am doing today's video um, in my studio is because I want a full body, um, yeah, I, I want a full body shot. Okay, so I can't do it where I normally shoot my videos. So um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to um, take a short video clip um, with my full body and then I'm going to import it into Rococo to see what the end results are and exactly how it looks. Because at the end of the day, it is a free tool. Okay, so if it works well, then why not use it? Because your uh, motion captures body suits are extremely, extremely expensive. And this is a free tool. So if it works, um, so be it. Um, awesome for us. So today I'm going to try that out. Now I do know that there are a few um, things. Now one thing I did wrong is I've got black shoes. So I'm not entirely sure if... Um, if it will pick up my shoes. So actually the best is to Especially in a setup like this if it's a black background make sure you stand out. Okay, so My gray pants and my black shoes is probably not a great idea But not everyone here uh, watching this video do have a TV set So the reason why I actually decided to have a white shirt to see how it works but also gray um, pants and black shoes with a dark background is just to see how accurate it is. Does it pick it up? Um, because like I've mentioned, not everyone has a small TV set at home. Um, so you're going to do it in a room where it is clustered with other things, your bed and the background and posters on the wall or whatever. Um, so not everyone have a nice clean backdrop like I have. Um, so I do want it to try this and see how it works. Now if it doesn't work, we'll find out soon. But if it works, I think it just um, Thumbs up for the software then to Rococo who managed to create a software that you can almost throw everything to it and it will deliver. Okay, so let me act out a scene quickly and um, then I'm going to capture that. I'm going to import it into my software or into the software and then we'll take it from there. So let me take a quick shot. Okay guys, so I finished recording that video clip and now I'm going to import it into Rococo video. Now to do this, there's just a few things you need to remember. Okay, so first of all, um, Rococo video is um, absolutely free and then you also need to download um, Rococo Studio. Okay, so you need to create an, um, an account with Rococo so that you can use the video um, on their website absolutely free and then you link it to your studio software um, because then you can transfer your captured mocap um, data to um, Rococo Studio okay so that's the first thing you need to do go to rococo.com create an account and um, then you can start so here I'm inside Rococo video um, now if you um, you can have the um, the free version, then you have limited options. So I have the free version because I want to show you guys how how you can do um, motion capturing for free. Um, if you do have um, a paid account with Rococo, I think it is there are different um, pricing tiers. Um, then you have more options for more accuracy, more features. Um, which I will show you later on. But the first one is um, dual camera. So then you can set up two cameras and you will have more accurate um, uh, motion capturing data. Okay, so let's create your first animation and single camera record, single camera upload. So I'm just going to upload, then I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload my video. And so what will happen is it will then upload the video, go to preview. And then once that is done, 
you can just click on turn into animation and there you will see it will then um, upload it so it's processing and it will continue this until it is finished so you can see it's just a basic animation and one thing that I would I want to um, see is how it captured the feet and the pants um, I'm sure or hopefully it will do that perfectly so as you can see it's already at almost 50% and um, 58 so it is now converting that um, this video to um, mocap data so it's at 82% so it is almost done 96 and it is almost almost done okay so my um, it is finished so there you can see it has captured it and it looked like it captured the feet and the legs perfectly and there's just one obviously error that arm is moving in but you can always adjust that so I think it actually did quite a great great job so here I've got Rococo studio open so I'm now going to edit in studio so if I click there okay so it created let's open it up okay so now what I did is I've got I'm inside Rococo studio and I've selected the um, the target and now I can export it but you can see here um, you need to put it on FBX and then advanced settings okay so what happens is if you can um, let me click if I click there then if I select iClone I can export it into the format already for iClone and it will make my life so much easier but you need to pay for that option okay so uh, now we're just gonna take the long route so I'm just gonna click on export clips and then it will export this as an FBX file okay so once that is done the next step is you then need to go to 3d exchange which is also a um, a reillusion software um, so because what happens is it exported this character as a prop and not as a character so if you're gonna try to import that animation over uh, to iClone it won't work because it will tell you it, it can't um, add that motion to a prop okay so you go to Rococo and then you um, basically just file um, or you can just go here's the FBX file you just drag it on top and then you will get this but you'll get it with a character so what I did just to save time and this is where it's gonna take very very long is you need to go to um, to animation you'll see there is animation and character you need to open those two but the first thing you need to do is you need to convert this okay so convert to non-standard so if you click there then this you can see I've already set this up but this is where it takes extremely long so you need to click there you, you need to attach each and every single bone um, to this character and then once you are done you can click on convert and it will convert it for you and then you can then go let's click on convert okay and now and there is your character imported okay and now once you've applied this to iClone you can now go 
to your animation and then apply to iClone. And there you'll see there is the animation and if we press play, there it goes. And it does. So what the next thing you do is you right click on this motion and you say save clip and you save that then as a motion. So what I'm going to do now next is let me just delete this. Let me add this character. And now we're going to add that save data onto that character. And there you go. And now here is the data that I've saved. I just drag it on top of my character. And there it goes. So you can see there is a little bit of adjustment that you need to do, but that is a great free way to do some mocap um, capturing um, with video. So all you need is a cell phone. You create a free account with Rococo, you download the software, you link the uh, Rococo video with your uh, Rococo Studio software, and you import your video, you export it, and there, um, there is a, a bit of a long way if you, um, if you want to use the free version, but if you want to pay, I think it's $20 per month, um, then you can use two cameras for more accurate um, data capturing and then you can also just select iClone and it will you can bypass the entire 3D exchange and link all the bones which takes quite a, a, a bit of time to do but um, so you can save a lot of time with that and there you go you have captured it obviously you just need to make some adjustments especially with those arms um, there but that is a free an easy way to do some mocap capturing for your 3D animation. So if you've liked this video, make sure you hit the subscribe and also click on that little notification bell. And um, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like. It also helps this YouTube channel with the algorithms, etc. So guys, that is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me. Um, I'll see you guys next week with another video. God bless and happy animating.